How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be showing you how to do even more mixing recipes, but this one is based off of heated recipes or things like that. This was a comment I got somebody asking how do we do heated recipes so you can do more various different things. I'm going to go over that today. It's going to be a very easy one to follow. And what we're going to do is we're going to be make, mixing coal and mixing cobblestone, I believe. And we're going to be making diamonds. You can also use this to create other create mod items. It doesn't have to be just Minecraft. I'll talk about that later too. But we're going to start off by making our actual .js file. We've showed how to do this before. But if you don't know, find your mod pack, go into it, and it should have QJS installed if you've installed it. Chances are, since you're watching this video, you have it installed. Go to QJS and go to server scripts, and we need to make another file. We need to make and add new.js files. So what we want to do is right click, click new and click text document, and then hit control and A to highlight everything. And we're going to do heated mixing, but that's for tutorial. But whatever you name you, whatever name you want, make it make sense for what it specifically is. It'll make more sense for you. And then dot js hit enter and then hit enter now you have a dot js file we can go ahead and open it up and here's where we start everything else at i do have a brass ingot file here that we're going to show you here in a second but we're going to show you how to find that too we can go ahead and minimize all that and i've already showed you guys how to do this in the past but if we come over here to our mixing folder which is just an extracted version of the dot jar file the create mod file we'll show you how to do that real quick if you have the actual folder or the file for create mod which is create dot you know create 1.19.2 jar whatever the actual mod itself what you can do is right click on it and click extract files and you will get the folder the folder is right here so this is where all the details are from create mod and what we're going to do is we're going to go to data we're not getting textures or nothing like that that would be in assets but for the code for certain things would be in data i'm going to go to create and then recipes and then we're going to go down to mixing so this is where all the already existing create mod stuff is and what we're going to try to do is we're going to find something that we already know is a heated recipe and for that we got chocolate we got chocolate melting we also have brass i think we're going to go with the brass one though because i know that works we're going to double click on it and it's going to open it so there's going to be a couple different things here since this is a json file it's code essentially it's actual code in a json file but ours is a js file so it's a little bit different. We're going to need to be able to add some things before. So this is something I've added or had open. It's from another video we've done before. It's a mixing recipe. We've showed these in the past videos. We've had a lot of views and a lot of good responses on the past videos. If you haven't watched those, I would suggest doing so. I break a lot of things down on all those videos. But what we really, 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 really need for this is this first half of the code right here. Not even this top line. That's just a comment. But we need these pieces right here. To change it from being a .json file to being a .js file. That's what we're going to first put in here. It's going to be server event. We can even make it bigger, I believe. I don't remember how, though. There's a way to. I don't know this. So the first parts we want to do is server events. It's a capital S and a capital E. And then a dot .recipes event. And I'll just leave this here. I'll crop into it so you guys can see it bigger. And then down here will be event.custom. Make sure you have all the little squiggly lines and everything else in there exactly like I have it here. Yes, it's red right now because we don't have the rest of the code. Technically, it's not right just yet. We're going to change everything from being a .json file to being a .js file. So we're going to copy everything we found in the brass ingot script. We're going to copy it and then we're going to paste it over here. So now we're here. We want to go ahead and hit enter and then paste. Now there's a couple of things we have to change for this to technically work. First thing we need to remove this first little squiggly line here line right here this is how you start out the code in the .json file we started out differently here we're going to back that out and now this is what your code should look like we have to remove that because this technically starts the code but we don't need that little wiggly line in there i know you guys are going to hate me because i'm not using the technical terms because i can't freaking remember and then here we are down here on the bottom you can see actually that we have three little icons that are red and it's basically telling you what you're missing if you have a starting squiggly line you have to have an ending so we can see here it also has a red line down here telling you hey you're missing something down here this visual code or visual studio code kind of tells you what you're missing to kind of help you understand what you're going through so we see that we have this one so we need to hold shift hit zero you can see at the top one of the red ones disappeared and then we want to hit this little key here, I can't think of the name of it, and then hit zero again. So we just added those little icons or those little squiggly lines at the bottom. And now your technical recipe 
is done. But of course we need to change it up, I guess you could say. We need to change it to be whatever you want it to be. So let's go ahead and go over what we have. We got the type of crafting that this is going to be, which is create mixing. And this is the part right here that most people get hung up on because they're very curious about it. And it asks, heat, requ heat requirement is heated. Now I'm assuming if you don't want it to be heated, you could just not add that in there. Because some of the other recipes don't even have that as an option. And we can go ahead and actually check too. Let's go ahead and actually compare it to something that's not. So like andesite alloy, what's this look like? There we go. So you can see type create mixing and then it just has the ingredients. It does not have heat requirements or nothing like that. So if you don't want it to be heated, don't add heat requirements. And then of course you have your ingredients down here, which will literally be what you want to add. So what we're gonna do to make this easier on ourselves, we're gonna collapse these things just so it's making it easier to read what we're looking at here. So we went ahead and collapsed most of the code just to make it easier so you're not getting confused by all the code on the screen. And then the ingredients, this is the first ingredient. So you'll notice they do something different here. They use forge instead of just a item tag. So right here it says tag and it does forge and then ingots and then copper. The reason why they do that is because some other Minecraft mods may have their own version of copper ingots and their tag of that item literally may be copper ingot or ingot copper. So they're future proofing their mod here by doing tags and forge. So it will read any mod you add to it. If you add 30 different mods that all have their own versions of copper ingots, this create mod for the heated mixing recipe for brass will be able to read every one of those ingots and you can use any of them. So you could keep it that way if you would like to, but since I'm just using default Minecraft stuff, I'm going to change it to be an item and not a forge tag but you guys can keep it as you would like of course ingots would be the tag saying hey we are looking for an ingot and then what kind it would be like iron or netherite or whatever so whatever ingot you're wanting to use from a another mod pack so it would be ingots and then slash and then whatever kind of ingot it is from another mod pack we're not doing that here so we're going to go ahead and double click on tag we're going to change it to item and then this right here would be minecraft as we're looking for a Minecraft item, not a forge item. And then we're going to back all of this out and we're going to look for cobblestone. It's still an item because it's not placed on the ground. It's in your inventory, so it would have the tag of item. Now let's go ahead and hit this next little drop down icon to uncover the rest of this. You can see they did it again here. So they have a tag and then ingots and zinc. So it's basically looking for any ingot of type of zinc from any mod pack there is out there. We're not going to do that again. We're going to do item just to change it from for or from a tag to an item. We're gonna change the word forge to Minecraft. And then we're going to back all this out and we're gonna do Minecraft bowl. That's all we're gonna to need to do. Go ahead and drop down the results. And it's gonna be how many do you want out of this? How many do you want to have come out of this? Let's just say 20. And then what item do you want to come out of it? Of course, you can use a create mod item. You can use whatever kind of item you want to. You could even use a forge. Jesus Christ, what was that? You can even use a tag of a forge type of thing. So it gives you, you have a mod that has 30 different types of ingots of the same kind of tag in it. It could be giving you random versions of that ingot as a the output. But we're gonna keep it as item and then we're gonna do Minecraft and then we're gonna do diamond. And it's gonna be that simple. Of course, this is gonna be heated because it just kind of makes sense to me. And then we're going to do slash reload. So there may also be another recipe that you could do this with. There may already be one in the mod pack. I haven't found it, but we're going to go ahead and try this now. So we get cobblestone. Oops, if I could spell cobblestone and coal. We drop this in and that in, you see it won't do nothing. And there's a reason why. But I can get a little bit more coal here just for a little bit of fuel. If I could actually place it, please. Thank you. And we're going to go ahead and get our blaze burner place it and light it up and you can see it's going to start working and it's making 20 diamonds for every item and there we go you can see if we literally click on it we'll get all the items out of it we'll go ahead and put this here let's go ahead and get a depot and then what we're going to do is drop this and drop this if it'll let me here we go and here we go you can see it's going to start mixing it's only going to allow diamonds to come out there we go. Look at all those diamonds flowing out of this thing. I wonder if you can change this to a superheated recipe. I've never done it before. So let's just try super underscore heated. I wonder if that's even a tag in here. I don't really know. I've not really tried this one. It is not working. So let's go ahead and try this. So instead of underscores, let's just try it as one word maybe. Oh, it even told us there was an error down here and I never even noticed. Now it says there's no error. I literally was not reading. I was just talking as usual. And there we go. Now it's going, you need superheated to do this one. 
And that is all done by just putting the word superheated instead of just heated with no underscore. So there is a two for one in this video for you because I just was curious myself and I had to try it. And as you can see, we're getting plenty of diamonds. So that is that one's done and done. Uh, but we do also have a discord where we can answer questions for you guys. You guys can post your code in there. We can tell you whether it looks right, looks wrong, what to change, how you can do certain things. If you want to join that or if you want to join the streams when I do live stream here on this channel, also answer questions there if we're doing coding and everything at the time and we could just hang out and do some development there too so without further ado thank you guys for watching this one and i hope to see you guys in the next one leave your recommendations down below for other things you guys want to see i will be glad to do those videos i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.